We'll now look at different properties that relations can have. And we'll be interested in three in particular. The first of which is called reflexive. Reflexive states that points of the form a comma a are in R for all little a and big A. Essentially for each element of our set, we should have this kind of a double point. One, one, two, two, three, three. If we have letters, A, A, B, B, C, C, something like that. And we need them for all possible elements in our set. Let's look at this example. We have this set on A equal to one, two, three, four, and we have this given relation. We wanna know if it's reflexive. I have the point one, one and the point two, two, but no point three, three. So this is not reflexive since we're missing that point. Our next example is just three ordered pairs. We see we have one one, but no two two. So once again, this one is not reflexive. For this relation, we see we have the point one one, the point two two, the point three three, and the point four four. So this one is reflexive, since we have all four of those points. Here we have a next relation. We see that we're missing the point one, one. We're also missing two, two, three, three, and four, four. So this one is definitely not reflexive. Here we have a next relation. We can see that this contains all four of our desired points. We have one, one, two, two, three, three, and four, four. So this one is reflexive. For our last example, we have this single point. So this one is definitely not reflexive since it's missing all four of the points that we would need. The next property we'll look at is called symmetric. This says if our point AB is in the relation, then the point BA is as well. Essentially, I should be able to switch the order of the coordinates and that point still be in my relation. Here's our first relation. If I reverse one, one, I just get one, one. If I reverse one, two, I get two, one. And also reversing two, one gives me one, two. If I reverse three, four, I get four, three. However, that's missing. So this one is not symmetric since we're missing that point four, three. For my second example, I have one, two, and also two, one. So this one will be symmetric since I have all of the required points. The next one we can check. 1, 1 reversed is 1, 1, so we're good there. 1, 2 would give us 2, 1, which we have. 1, 4 gives us 4, 1, which we have. 2, 1 gives us 1, 2. 2, 2 is, gives us 2, 2. 3, 3 gives us 3, 3. 4, 1 gives us 1, 4. And 4, 4 gives us 4, 4. So this one will be symmetric since we do have the reverse of all of the points. My next example, I have two one, but no one two. So this one is definitely not symmetric. Here, reversing one one gives us one one. Reversing one two gives us two one, which we don't have. So this one is also not symmetric since we do not have the required points. For our last one, we have three four, but no four three. So not symmetric. The last property we'll look at is transitive. And this is probably the hardest to see. Transitive means that if AB is in the set and BC is in the set, then AC is in the set. Thinking of this, essentially what happens is if I have two points, and these two numbers are the same. The second coordinate of one is the same as the first coordinate of the other. I should be able to combine these two outside points, A comma C. 
and that point should still be in my set. So let's consider our examples. If I start with this point 1, 1, I need to check everything that starts with a 1. Combining 1, 1 and 1, 2 would give me 1, 2, which I do have. The next point is 1, 2, so I need to think of everything that starts with a 2. 2, 1 gives me 1, 1, which I have, and 1, 2, 2, 2 would give me 1, 2, which I also have. Going to the next point, 2, 1, I need to think of everything that starts with a 1, which is 1, 1. That combines to give me 2, 1, which I have. I'm going to skip 2, 2, because we've seen with our examples, combining something like 2, 1 and 2, 2 gives me 2, 1. Essentially, these kind of double or repeated points are kind of going to always be given with transitivity because combining them with another point just gives that second point. 3, 4, I need things that start with 4, like 4, 1. That would combine to give me 3, 1, which I'm missing. So this is not transitive. Here is an easy example. Combining 1, 2 and 2, 1 gives me 1, 1, which I have. However, if I look at the point 2, 1 and I think of things that start with 1, I have the point 2, comma 1 and I also have the point 1, comma 2, which should give me 2, 2, which I don't have. So this one is not transitive as well. Here, if I look at the point 1, 2, Everything that starts with a 2 would be 2, 1, which gives me 1, 1, which I have. Combining with 2, 2 will just give me 1, 2, which I know I have. 1, 4 and 4, 1 gives me 1, 1, which I have. 2, 1 and 1, 2 gives me 2, 2, which I have. And then 4, 1 and 1, 2 would give me 4, 2, which I don't have. So not transitive. 4 comma 1 and 1 comma 2 should combine to give me 4 2 which I don't have in this problem. The next example, 2 1, 3 1 and 4 1 all end in a number 1. However, I don't have anything that starts with 1. Therefore, I don't really need to check these points since there's nothing I could possibly combine them with. Looking at 3 2 combined with 2 1 gives me 3, 1, which I have. Looking at 4, 2 combined with 2, 1 gives me 4, 1, which I have. And 4, 3 and 3, 2 gives me 4, 2, which I have. So yes, this one is transitive. My next one, looking at 1, 2, things that start with a 2, 2, 3 gives me 1, 3. 2, 4 gives me 1, 4, both of which I have. 1, 3 and 3, 4 gives me 1, 4, which I have. 1, 4 would just combine with 4, 4, which I have. 2, 3 and 3, 4 gives me 2, 4, which I have. 2, 4 would just combine with 4, 4. 3, 3 would just combine with 3, 4 and 3, 4 just combines with 4, 4 and all of those points work. So yes, this one is transitive. As our very last example, we have this point, this uh, relation with a single point. However, since 3, 4 cannot combine with anything, I don't have a contradiction to transitivity, which means yes, this is by default.